Hey guys, it's me, Media, and welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Today we're going to the Forbidden Island. Ooh, what could happen over here? Of course, you all know that this is a desert world, and as you all know, I normally hate desert worlds with the burning passion. They're all pretty much the same cut and dry formula. So, it comes as a surprise to me to say this, but this is probably my favorite world in a game. This game specifically, rather. I just... This level is so good. Starting off with this one, The Wastes Where Life Began. Which likely references the idea that life began in the water. And, uh, just about that dead coral. This is essentially... Well, what wants to be part of an ocean. Dried up. That music starting off is great. I mean, you know when the music starts out with this, with this kind of uh, hazy effect and darkness, you already know it's going to be off to a good time. And this level here is probably the most open out of any level in the entire game by far. Once you go here, it just starts feeling like open sandbox, so to speak. You can do anything in this area, and there's such a large area to go into here. So basically, first off right off the bat, I already messed up, actually. I need to go get Hunter. It's really hard to inhale those things, but go out grab this. You can see a crystal shard there, or rather a green shard. Let me just go back and grab this Hunter again, which is useful. Because you need to do another achievement, which is to find three targets. Uh, too far away from that one. So three targets are hidden among this level that you do need to find. You see, the first one is actually right there. Come on, didn't hit? Fine. There we go. Follow the pattern, and you get a blue coin from that. So shoot three flying targets, which you need Hunter for. Ranger, why do I keep calling it a Hunter? I don't know. I, I eventually, I want. you'll see the second one right there. Die. Wow, you're not dead yet. All right, second one is right there. Come on, it would be nice if I could actually hit it. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and destroy all those things right there. You can see some nice little Pactos there in the background. I love Pactos. They're not really very threatening in this particular case, considering what they, they're just kind of there. You kind of like shoot them out of the way, but Whatever, they're there guarding, doing their menacing stuff. As for where the last target is, you want to get it right over here. You will see it with all these moving platforms that look like about to fall off. There's one behind that platform. So you kind of get a better angle at it right over here. Right probably here is about a good place to stand. There we are. And we get a capsule for that. And we also save the Waddle D for doing that. This have more HP than I thought they would. And I can't just like randomly shoot them and have them die. They take a couple shots. Either way, next goal here is to get this little ring mouth section you might have seen here. And then just blow stuff away with it. Your goal around here is to collect five of those green pieces. Each are accomplished by doing different things like windmills, such as this. And there's another green shard right over there. I needed some food. And there's another achievement you get by going over this direction. You'll see a good old Squishy there with some food. What's up, Squishy? You seem out of place, or at least you're here a little late. But unfortunately, you have to kill him. Defeat the lost Squishy. So the lost Squishy is probably, uh, well, the last Squishy in existence around here, considering we're in a original wasteland based on an ocean. And uh, we pretty much just eliminated that species because he was the last one there. Poor, poor Squishy. Anyway, 
What do you want to do next? You want to go over here. You'll see a spot over there that normally you have to climb the ladder with. But if you're careful, kind of jump up this way, kind of hop over there. And then you can defeat Florina with the ring mouth. And that is an achievement, in fact. Defeating Florina with the ring mouth. So that's always fun. Get that last shard there. Well, it's not the last shard. Oh, I missed one. Right, right, I know where I missed it. In the meantime, though, you want to get this chest right here because you got the crystal needle blueprint. You can now evolve the needle ability. We'll worry about that later. Let's, in fact, worry about this spot over here. Oh, I, how did I miss that capsule? Did I just not get that earlier? Apparently not. Now, over here, you'll see a pit of poison. I recommend getting Ranger for this one. Hit that switch. Hit that switch there. Shoot that over there. You don't even have to go on those platforms. You can just shoot them from afar. Makes things substantially easier. Get this last shard there. They'll all come together and open that little spot right over there where that Waddle D was. Oh, I thought I wouldn't have been able to grab that in time. Nope, I wasn't. Thankfully, there's the uh, deluxe ability right up there to grab anyway for Tornado. And I like how this is kind of like a, a tanker of different things over here. No, I do not need that. And there's a green capsule inside those boxes, along with some ice cream. It's always nice. Save the hidden Ds. So yeah, this little section here gives me hope for later to see a Kirby game with a more open ambition. Maybe not like completely open, like not, not, Kirby doesn't have to be a completely open game, but maybe at least as open as say Odyssey or something. This kind of gives me hope in that direction and it kind of, this is probably, like I said, this is that was probably the most open part of this entire game and it was just fun. It was a nice little change of pace. I don't know. And like I said, normally when it comes to desert levels, it's usually the same basic mechanic formula. There's usually quicksand, there's usually a pyramid in the background, it's usually bright, boring. Here, it's legitimately like a wasteland of underwater that's been completely abandoned and turned dry. And the scenery, the haze, the music, everything just goes together so well. I love it. Like, I don't think they could have possibly done a better job at this if they've really tried. Well, no, no, I'm not gonna, no, Hal could definitely do a better job of things if they tried, because Hal's just amazing at level design when they want to. It, it really is incredible, actually. Oh, well, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I think we want to use Ring Mouth here. Let that fall down. And of course, there's a nice little Waddle Dee right in there for us. But we're not done yet. We still want to go back over where that thing dropped, because we know there's some dust cloud behind it too. We get another green capsule. So yeah, always nice to get those series two for free if you can, since those are series one are ten star coins, series two are twenty, and I believe uh, series three is fifty, and then it's a hundred respectively. Either way, same difference here. Blow away the dust, and then go inside the secret area. And now we have a section we're going to be jumping across platforms quickly. I recommend letting that one fall. Now this, you want to blow that, grab these, jump back over here, and save that Waddle Dee. Plenty of coins. I love all the star, star coins we're collecting. These are going to be very helpful for later, along with all those uh, rare stones we also collected. I think we have like 13. We didn't even do any of the trials in here yet. I didn't even, well, obviously we didn't lock any yet, so I couldn't have done any here. But still, that's a, that's a good number to go by. Just blow through everything here. Blow through this guy. And that should be the end of the level. At least, 
it would be if you just went straight ahead into the thing. We're not going to do that. You'll notice there that a gate's kind of blocked down in the back right. Let's go back here. There's another hidden spot way back here in the distance. A nice little hotel. You can see a little a wild a woofy there, just chilling. Let's see, what do I want to grab? I think I'll take a... I think I'll take a needle. I think that'll be helpful for here. Either way, here we have a little mini game of sorts. Where you see coins coming on from either section. You can just kind of grab a grab like this. And you'll see little, piece, little star pieces come down. You want to be quick. Make sure you grab all of them in time. Crap. Because... If you don't, you're going to miss it. Got it. Good, good. And that's all five of them. Once you collect all five stars... Opens that little place back there. It has all kinds of star coins for us. This is, of course, yet another optional place. There's no Waddle Dee hidden here or anything like that. Just a bunch of star coins. Kind of like that one we saw over in World 2. Nice little thing we got there. I still like they have a little uh, office guy there to kind of book a hotel. I wonder if you could go up there. Probably could. I'm sure someone's explored that with the hammer already. And thus, now we can end the level. What? Oh, I didn't jump. I didn't jump high enough, apparently. Yay! Let's see, I didn't miss anything. Nope, looks like that's all of them. We're almost at 10,000 star coins. We're making good progress. Pew pew, hold the button down to charge and aim, then let go of spark send a sparkling shot flying. Charge it up for bigger blasts. Waddle Dee, these delightful residents of Planet Popstar landed in the new world before Kirby arrived. Things looked grim when wild beasts began to capture them and steal their precious food, but with Kirby's help, they're rebuilding their town and starting over. Mookie, what a happy little ape. Smile and dance, Mookie. Watch him swing and throw his little hammer around. You can tell he's happy to see you. Just look at that smile. Huh? That's not a smile? He's starting to scare us? Well, uh, it's working now. Yikes. Blooming flowers. Storage mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode, blah, blah, blah. Now he can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth. Wiggle and thrash until you tip over. Hey, who put this behind the lockers? Capture bottle D's. The Beast Pack managed to catch these three Waddle Dees with one golden cage. If they work together, they might be able to... Oh, never mind. They're too sad to move. All they can do is cry for help. Wah, 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 wah. Somebody save them. Well, that was a fun level. Wouldn't have a desert level without an oasis level. Of course, this isn't your normal oasis level. It's uh, obviously a place where it used to be a resort. Where the oasis is really just a bunch of pools. Searching the oasis. Let's just get our chakram cutter here, just because we can. Don't necessarily need it, but it's probably something different. I think I didn't really show off uh, the needle too much, but eh, there's only so much you could show off with that. I think I have shown off the cutter like multiple times too, so there probably has been shown off the death at this point anyway. Oh well, I had a plan. Not say it works too well, but I do like the fact that you can just grab things without having to reach over, or float over the poison. I can essentially just. Use my chakram cutters and bam, get them that way. So much more convenient. So much easier to do that. You would think that there'd be something on here with the perspective the way it's laid out, but there's not. It's kind of interesting. Wait, hold on. 
Nope, they're still not. I thought, thought I saw a block there for a second. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks, Boomerang. Now, there's a spot here where normally that, uh, that lizard would have been hiding it or would have been standing in front of it. But if you go back here, you'll see that little pool oasis, which is kind of neat. And a Waddle Dee just chilling there. Now who just put like a cut up watermelon and a melon just on top of the seeds and just left them there? Let's just knock this around, break this open. Now let's get rid of this ability real quick and get sleep. Sorry Naughty, I don't mean to kill you, but it's required. It's gonna fall asleep. Yep, that's an achievement. Take a nap by the secret pool. So unfortunately the Nadi has to be destroyed and at least respawns. So that's nice for him. But uh Wait, well, that's not the exit. Here's the exit. But now I don't have a cutter anymore. That's why I don't think I really need the cutter for anything anymore now. Don't think I ever really needed the cutter to start with, but. Oh, we see these little enemies again. I don't have any power-ups right now, so I can't deal with them too fairly. Here we are. Now I can. And they're gone. You don't necessarily have to kill them, but I don't know, it's just something satisfying about it. You, you would think there's some kind of reward for killing them all here when three of them spawn like that. But there's not. Nothing spawns, like no type of uh, coin pile or anything. Just uh, that capsule that's over there that it might have already gotten in the first place. Now, here's a Waddle Dee that's really easy to miss right here if you're not careful. Or rather, not a Waddle Dee, but the blueprint. The Buzzsaw Cutter Blueprint. Which is a very interesting way of, that's a very interesting cutter technique, kind of fun. Uh, people have mixed feelings about it. I like it. Sure, it's not as quick, but eh, it's fine, honestly. I'm just gonna grab that. Now, don't go forward there. You instead want to go back around this way and go up this ladder. And then you have like a little platforming section here with moving platforms. Second Waddle Dee right there. And then you'll see more stuff spawn. That bomb could be kind of annoying because it's in the air, but it's just a single enemy. Let's go and mouthful move this out of here. And fall down the pit. We. <laughs> And then we have a pipe mouth section. A very easy pipe mouth section, it's just like one jump. Or it's not. I remembered it incorrectly, I was thinking of something else. We make sure you get this last jump. Got it. Perfect. There we go. Could restore my health, get some coins, and save a Waddle Dee. Wins all around. Wee. You can always retry if you want. I don't know why you would. We pretty much nailed that perfectly. Uh, you might want to grab drill. That, that's what I was trying to think of it here. You'll see a little spot here you could dig. That's just a carrot there. But you will need drill for later. Now you'll see a spot there that's kind of, uh, well, poisoned. Don't deal with that right now. You instead want to go over here where this little water geyser is. Mouth full it up. And then blast water away at your enemies. This one specifically. 
You have to destroy two of those to get a achievement. Die. Let's spit that out and then drill underground. Hit this switch. And then go in here. Now here we have a section. You have to drill. Make sure you get every single hole here. You don't want to miss a single hole. Be very diligent in your drilling prowess. Even if it seems like it's wasting time, do it anyway. So far, so good. Get all of those, and you unlock the Waddle Dee. And you also get an achievement for digging every single hole in there, too. So that's nice. That's a new, uh, you saved two Waddle Dees essentially that way. Only one more Waddle Dee to go. And we don't really need Drill for anything else, but might as well. Why not? Now, before you go forward, you want to go over here to the left. I was wrong. You did need Drill again. My bad. Pile of money. Hit that switch. And thus, the pipe is up there for you to take water with. And thankfully, there's another one of those little po purple cro poison crocums, or whatever the heck they're called, for you to kill for that other achievement we're missing. Out of my way. And there's the last model B. There we go, we did everything we needed to. Hooray for watermelon. Yay! Stage clear, did I miss anything? Pretty sure I got everything, yep, I did. Fantastic. Oh, we're almost at over 10,000 star coins. Chili. Jabhog. Charge those points up, then zing! Let them fly! Jabhog is famous in the New World for its spiky spines. They were short and cute when it was young, but they eventually grew into dangerous needles. It'll jab anything that gets too close, so approach with caution. A rival mall. Staff side. Yay! Now while I'm here, might as well show off where the two uh, hidden portals are. Guess it wouldn't hurt to show those off. First one is back over here at this corner. This other oasis is over here. That's not by a resort. And then the other one we need is over here. Where is it? Ah! Yes. There we go. Scissor lift mouth. All right, with that, we are done with this uh, part of the Let's Play. So next time we could be in the Forgotten Land, we'll be finishing up the main levels of Original Wasteland. See you guys next time. <laughs>